So, the SNP establishment are not having a good weekend, are they? Yes, the police in Scotland have decided to re-engage with the executive of the party over the investigation that's still going on. And in this video, we're going to give you guys the latest update on that front uh, because uh, they're coming slowly for Nicola Sturgeon. Yes, Nicola Sturgeon and uh, the rest of the, well, current executive and former executive uh, of the party are going to be re-interviewed by the police. Now, this is about the, the video that was recently um, uh, emerged uh, about uh, about some some sort of meeting that uh, Nicola Sturgeon had with the, with the senior figures of the SNP. This is a few months back. Uh, well, I believe the video is actually from a year ago, a couple of years ago. Uh, but, but we already showed you guys um, a while ago that clip where uh, Nicola Sturgeon was saying it's probably best not to question the finances of the party and how everything is fine. Don't worry, guys. There are no camper vans to be found and everything else. Now the police are going to be adding that to their investigation and ask some new questions from these guys. So the detectives are to ask SMP figures about how much Nicholas Sturgeon actually knew about the party's accounts. Uh, the police are planning to re-interview witnesses after this video emerged of uh, Sturgeon saying that the party finances had never been stronger. <laughs> now Nicholas Sturgeon made this, uh, this statement at a meeting of the SMP's National Executive Committee Yes, in a couple of years, a couple of years ago, in twenty twenty one. So that is basically something that, if it weren't for alternative media or new media outlets like this channel pushing for this video to be spread around, we might not have had actual action from the police in Scotland. So it's all thanks to you guys and all your support that we can continue our work. So, what did she say actually? Nicola Sturgeon said. The party has never been in a stronger financial position than it is right now. I'm not going to get into the details, <laughs> but you know, just be very careful about suggestions that there are problems with the party's finances because we depend on donors to donate. There are no reasons for people to be concerned about the party's finances. Hmm. Sounds a little bit dodgy. Even if she were innocent, even if the party's accounts was completely healthy, that the way she was talking in that video, well, it makes you think, hmm, smoking gun, where is it? Where are you hiding it? Where is the money, Nicola? So, again, if you've got nothing to hide, you could have been more transparent when it comes to the, uh, the party's finances, but they're not going to talk about any of this anyway. Now, in the middle of all this, get this, this is going to be absolutely hilarious. You would not believe the reaction that we've got from the friends and allies of Nicola Sturgeon. Why do you think they are now saying that the police are investigating the SMP? Why? Why do you think? Well, according to Nicola Sturgeon's friends, <laughs> it's because of misogyny. <laughs> so her friends are saying that the police investigation and raid on Nicola Sturgeon's home was fueled by misogyny. <laughs> it makes absolutely no sense. They arrested her husband first. They went to his house to find evidence. He's, he's, he's not a woman. As, as far as I know, as I, I, I'm pretty sure Peter Morrill is not a woman. Although his wife, Nicola, doesn't know what a woman is, so I'm not really sure. If, if maybe he is a woman, but I don't think uh, Peter getting arrested had anything to do with misogyny. I don't think the party's former treasurer getting questioned by the police uh, I'm pretty sure he's also a man. Again, I don't want to assume these days, but I'm pretty sure he's a man. Has anything to do with misogyny? Corruption has nothing to do with misogyny. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly. All right, so that's basically the reaction we got from Nicholas Surgeon's allies and friends who are briefing the papers, saying, just go call, call the papers and say it's all about misogyny. You've got that, then you've got the actual... SNP as a party that is completely imploding. You've got more politicians, eight new politicians who announced that they basically left the SNP and they're starting their own party. <laughs> as if you didn't have enough problems for um, Humza Yusuf. Um, you, you've already got the Alaba party with uh, Alex Salmon and all the others. And you've got some splinter parties and you've got a new one again. How many parties do you need for the cause of separation? So, eight... Uh, Former SMP councillors who quit the party over recent months have now launched a new group in defiance 
of Scotland's biggest political party. It's called Progressive Change. <laughs> Why? Why do they always have to add some sort of progressive to the or change to the name of these parties? It's like Change UK. Okay, so they've outlined their vision and uh, the, each, each one of these members are going to be uh, coming up with their own policy ideas and everything else. And I'm guessing they're not going to get anywhere. Uh, but at best, they could actually split the vote when it comes to the SNP's next local election. So it's going to be quite exciting what's going to happen in Scotland and also the general election as well. So if these uh, smaller groups and parties get, get created and get bigger, then we could actually see the end of the SNP. But don't get too excited because that means the Scottish Labour Party will win and then Keir Starmer will be Prime Minister. It's a lose-lose situation. Now, the last thing I want to tell you guys is about the fact that uh, Nicola Surgeon is now looking for a job, I'm guessing, because she's joined LinkedIn. <laughs> she's got nothing else to do. So the former leader of the SNP has decided to go online, set up an account and join LinkedIn. And for those who don't know, LinkedIn is basically a website where it's, it's essentially like a social network, social media website, but for professionals. So you network and you find jobs and all this stuff. And uh, it's a little bit embarrassing. If as a former leader, you still have to join LinkedIn in order to get your voice out there for people to find you, to network with some professionals. Can't you just pick up the phone and call Klaus Schwab or someone? Or Bill Gates, just say, uh, Mr. Gates, I need some sort of gig. Can, can you help me? Give me some sort of, I'll be the chief of the UK division for the World Economic Forum annual conference. I don't know, something. <laughs> something with your globalist friends. One of them will give you something. Anyway, let me know what you think. Maybe she could actually go to the European Union because I think Ursula quite likes um, Nicola Sturgeon. You never know. Now we're going to come back later on. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.